Guys, not many people have dominated the sport like Boyd Excel, and we're actually down here in Team Australia's stables, and I'm with Boyd. Uh, Boyd, how are you doing today? Yeah, good morning. Bright and early this morning, isn't it? It's lovely out there right now. The, the weather is absolutely beautiful for you guys. Yeah, and we're planning to drive like at 10.30 this morning because we don't want to get too humid, try to sneak in before the hot weather, and then we'll have to concentrate on walking the marathon this afternoon. Can you tell me a little bit about, about your team? And uh, you've, you've got like five horses here, quite a few um, grooms and staff. How many people travel with you? Basically, I've got 11 people to my team, five horses, three carriages, five sets of harness. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, we send a shipping container in, 20-foot container, and uh, we sent that six weeks ahead. I've been going around the stables over the last week and uh, learning a lot about how people talk about the characters of the horse. You have four uh, to control. How does that go? You've got to have bold, brave horses for the front of the team. And at this level, they need to be experienced. I've got a pair of 10-year-olds that have really got great temperament. And um, this is also a horse called Checkmate. He's, it's his first world um, championship with me. And he's uh, a star, but he's going to be in the back this year. In the, as a wheeler in the team and then probably in the future he'll go on the lead. So can you tell me the difference between the, the, the wheelers and the leads? The horses at the back predominantly pull the weight. On the cross country and traditionally leaders actually help up the hills. You've had four outdoor world championships, you're coming up to five. Do you, are you feeling a lot of pressure? No, not yet. I mean actually pressure makes me focus more. I'm still staying in the sort of casual relaxed stage and then, then as the sort of week kicks in then I'll get a little bit more focused. Can you tell me about the dynamic between the guys that sit with you on the carriage? Backstep job is to keep the vehicle upright without turning over and the navigator really is more concentrating on myself and the course. A bit like a, a rally driver and uh, in a circuit they'll tell you medium fast, tight left, hard right, accelerate, back off, you know. We say if you've got the wrong bit in your horse it's like having the wrong key to your car. Mm -hmm but when they're set up correctly, it's your steering wheel. So you've either got power steering or delayed steering or dull steering or heavy steering. And it's all to do with the setup of the horse. You know, I've seen a, a, the dynamic down here, but obviously it's very competitive. But how much fun do you have out there? Well, carriage driving, what we say, it's the most fun you can have sitting down and it's a team sport. I mean, it's a team of horses and a team of people. So that's actually the key to it. For me, I love the training. The competition is only the icing on the cake. You know, it's whether you've actually done your training well. If you've done your training well, then it, we find out how good your, your homework's been. So it's just the icing on the cake. So I'm riding shotgun. I'm riding shotgun with Boyd XL. This is cool. No, no. Walk on. Walk on. Hold on. This is fun. <laughs> Boyd, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed it. Good luck with everything. I've got a new favorite discipline. <laughs> Great. Hope to see you on Saturday.